Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth with 217 Creations and today I'm going to show you how I use ultra thick embossing enamel to make glazed flowers and then show you some cool unique um, altered item type uses for those glazed flowers. So what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to make an altered keychain and this is it. These are super easy and lots of fun. Cheap too. My favorite kind of project. So bought this keychain off the dollar section inside Michaels. Um, I took the framing off the glass plasticky type material and then I broke off the back pieces that held that on so it's flat. And what you're going to want to have handy when you do these kind of projects with the ultra thick embossing enamel is um, embossing ink, the heat tools from the melting pot um, ranger line, um, a melting pot ranger, ranger's melting pot, excuse me, and then you're also going to want to have um, your heat gun and of course your ultra thick embossing enamel. I'm using clear but I've added UT Flex in it. It's a resin that allows it to be um, bendable, gives my flowers a little bit more shape, and then they hold up a little bit longer, no cracking or anything like that. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, because we need it to cool while we work, is pour the emboss the um, melted UT inside the keychain. So I'm going to go very slowly. I need to move this over a bit. So it's not going to take a whole lot to fill this keychain. It's not very big. And I want it to fill the edges, but I want it to be smooth. I don't want it overflowing. So I just kind of take my time. Oh, that's more than enough. Okay, we're going to stop right there and let that sit. So um, I've already cut my flowers to save on time. And these are from straight from the nest. Cut at one and a half, one and a quarter, and then one inch and I've inked them with Distress Ink Vintage Photo and I kind of gave them a little bit of a curling. Um, if you watch my flower tutorials um, you'll learn how to do that curling technique that I use. So here's where the embossing pad comes in handy. Move this over here. I'm going to dip my tools in there and then I'm going to pick up my flowers and run them through the enamel. Some of those items I showed at the beginning were made with Primas. If you do this with Primas, you have to be really fast. So I don't recommend starting with Primas. I would start with regular cardstock. And I'm going to kind of go a little quick because this video, you know, I don't get a whole lot of time. So um, I want to make sure I get to show you the goodies because it's beyond just using them for cards or scrapbook pages or anything like that. And don't worry if it's not perfect, I'm going to show you how we'll fix that. I just kind of want to drizzle it off. And it's very hot, so be careful. I have many burnt fingertips today from playing around all day with this. Okay, so our flowers are all glazed. We're going to take the melting pot and set that aside because we are done with that. All right, so we'll let those dry. This is, should be finished. Yes, this is completed. So now we have a nice flat, hard surface, and that's where our flower is going to stick on. So from here, let's see here. Yep. And they cool down. I mean, this isn't completely cooled, but it's pretty cool to the touch. You know, it's not so hot that you can't touch it. Um, takes only about a minute or so. You can take your scissors, cut off the large pieces. And don't worry if it's not perfect. I'm going to show you how we're attaching these flowers, each layer together, and it'll smooth out a lot of the stuff. So if you, you just want to get like the big chunks off is what you're looking to get off. And that one, I don't know that there's anything really to cut off of it. Okay, so here's where your heat gun comes in handy. I'm going to start the heat gun. And I'm going to start with this guy here. You can use the heat gun to remelt the UT. 
and make it smooth. So if there's anything that looks bumpy, you can smooth it out with this. These turned out pretty good. I shouldn't have to do too much more to them. Now what I'm doing is I'm melting the UT a little bit, softening it up. Because I want it to become wet. So it'll stick. To each layer. Get that in there and we go press it. And so you're going to kind of press that down in there. If you have to reheat again, reheat again. That's the beauty of UT. This is not an exact science. So now our next step is to take our next layer. I'm going to move this up so we can kind of see it a little bit better. And once again, we're going to smooth it out. And right now I'm working on the back side of it. Oops. I'm stuck there for a second. Kind of press them together. And then our last piece. And this one I'm just going to heat up the bat. You've got just a second or two to kind of work with it. And then you can heat it back up if you need to smooth out anything that might have crackled or bubbled up. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, so I've got my little flower built. I'm going to grab a rhinestone and I'm going to put a little rhinestone in the middle, I think. Isn't that amazing? Look how awesome that is. Okay, so now our final step. We're going to attach our little rosette on top of our keychain. So I'm just going to put a couple pumps of hot glue on there. And I use high temp hot glue because it bounds these surfaces a little bit better than using low temp. If I'm building stuff with paper, I use low temp. But when I'm trying to get things to really bond together like this, where there are two non-porous items, you can see I kind of push on that. I use high temp. And if you need to give it a little bit more heat, like I don't, I still feel like this side needs to be smooth a little bit. That's the perfectionist in me, sorry. And give it a little bit more heat. And look at that. Is that not cool? How awesome is that? Okay, so here's some goodies I have made. These were done with Primas. I tinted them with Glimmer Mist Sunflower. And then that is Viva Decor Black Pearl Pen. I'm going to use this on a mini. Um, these are some barrettes I made for my nieces. I just bought these little goodie barrettes at um, Target. They came in rainbow colors. This is done with a Prima also with a rhinestone. This one's my favorite. This was done with Primas and some other miscellaneous little flowers I had sticking around. Um, tinted them with, um, this is the new Glimmer Mist Chalkboard and Banana Pudding. And then this is done with Coral Reef Glimmer Mist and then added some ribbon. And there's a little barrette on the back. And of course you see my other keychain. This is done with Plankton School Book. Ran it through the paper crimper several times. Bent and curled the edges. How cool is that? That'll look great on a book. This one's kind of fun. This is done with Straight from the Nest. It's the butterfly. Cut it on two sides out of glossy cardstock. Tinted with alcohol ink 
punched a hole and put a little chain through it. So as you can see, there are just endless options when it comes to this technique. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, I appreciate comments, subscribers, and followers. And thank you so much for your time. Um, everything is on the blog at www.217creations.blogspot.com. Thank you.